Due to popular demand, we're back with another Conor McGregor video and this time we're going to look at his confidence. What makes him so confident and how can you apply it? We're going to look at three main areas here, body language, speech and mindset. So let's dive right in. One thing that you notice about McGregor is that he's at ease in any social interaction. He's very comfortable, he takes up a lot of space, and he looks like he's just chilling at his own house. This is a trait of many confident people. They don't worry about being around other people. They feel at ease in any social interactions. They can kick back, take up the space they need, and feel comfortable. I want you to pay very close attention to this clip. Look at how much room Conor McGregor is taking up. He does this all the time. Look at him flaring his elbows out as he's speaking. I want you to compare this to his opponent and tell me who you think in, is more In confident. absolutely everything I believe inside one minute, I will dust him, I will exit the contest fresh, I will cash the check, I will sign the next contract for UFC 200, the brand new MGM, and we'll go again. 2015 was my year. 2016 is also my year. Every year is my fucking year. I be it. Ben Henderson, Nate Diaz, Anthony Perez, Donald Cerrone, twice. And I fought better guys. guys. As you can see, Rafael clearly does not want to be there. He's insecure. He's keeping his hands underneath the table, taking up as little room as possible. And it looks like he's trying to hide. As he's defending himself, defending his honor as the champion, he's looking down. He's even doubting himself. The problem with bad body language is that it creates a negative feedback loop. It creates a negative feedback loop in which our bad body language starts making us feel bad, making us less confident, and then we have worse body language and just continues down that negative cycle. Good body language is the opposite. Conor McGregor in this scenario is gaining more power, he's gaining more energy. He's Open body language is taking up space, is making him feel more confident. It's increasing his testosterone, lowering his cortisol. There's actually been research done by Amy Cuddy, and she had a very popular TED talk about this, about how your body language can influence you, about how taking up power poses can influence you into having more success, into having more confidence. In Amy Cuddy's research, she has a range of power poses that have been inducive to increasing testosterone levels. The common characteristic trait of these power poses is that they take up a lot of room and make you feel more at ease, more confident. I have a theory that McGregor's McGregor walk is perhaps the most ultimate power pose because just look at him. He's flaring his arms left, right. He's looking up in the sky and just contain the idea that he doesn't give a fuck. That's the idea of a power pose. You take up as much room as possible and get yourself in that zone. During social interactions, many people speak in a rush. They are nervous and want to get their point across as quickly as possible to remove the spotlight from them. They have this innate fear that if they don't say what they have to say quickly, that they will be ignored. Confident people do the opposite. Confident people are deliberate with their delivery. They take their time. They make sure they think out what they're going to say and they say it nice and slowly so that the other person can understand. There is no fear of being ignored. They know that the, what they're saying is valuable so that they feel more comfortable in saying it. Conor McGregor does this all the time. You will see when he's responding to a lot of people's comments, when he has something that he has to say, he'll be very deliberate with his delivery. He'll plan out each word. And even if he makes a mistake, he'll just take the sentence back and keep on going. To him, there is no pressure. There's never pressure. Confidence comes from my work ethic. That's it. I know the work I'm putting in. Like, I will be back here, it's now 20 past 7. I will be back here at about 11.30, which is six and a half hours post the previous workout. You must take six hours. You must take a minimum of six hours to replenish the glycogen levels. You can't train five because the glycogen levels don't restore. It must be a minimum of six. So we'll be back here about half 11 tonight. We'll do a second workout. And we're preparing correct and we're preparing hard. That is where my confidence comes from. Another characteristic of confident people is the ability to maintain strong eye contact. Being able to look someone in the face is incredibly powerful, especially because not too many people can do it. Not too many people can hold eye contact while they're talking to you. People have fear, and when they are looking into your eyes, that fear is revealed, that vulnerability appears, so they look away. Confident people have no such fear. What is there to be scared of in social interactions? Nothing. They'll look at you, say what they have to say, and maintain good eye contact. I will create traps and dead space inside that, that octagon 
all over all over the place and I will walk him into it like a zombie. That is what I plan to do with Jose. I plan to set him up, trap him. Jose Aldo Jr. Caught him relaxed and smiling. Oh! I will create traps and dead space inside that octagon, and I, I will walk him into that dead space, but all of a sudden, he will be in danger. How do you do that? How I do you mean, predict these if things? you can see it here, and you have the courage enough to speak it, it will happen. So I see these shots, I see these sequences, and I don't shy away from them. All that matters is how you see yourself. If you see yourself, the king, you know what I mean? You see yourself with all the belts and all, all everything. And no matter what no one else says, as long as you see that and really believe in it, then that's what's going to happen. Who can tell you otherwise? Who says what way you see things? Who says what you see out of your eyes? I saw myself in that light. I saw myself as the, as the number one. You know? I saw myself as the champion. The last tool is visualization. Now visualization is a tool that is underutilized by so many people, but it's incredibly effective. Conor McGregor is a big proponent of visualization. He follows the law of attraction. He talks about how he visualizes how his fights are going to end, how he's going to perform in the fights. He visualizes how he's going to conduct himself before public speeches. He visualizes his outfit, everything, what he'll be driving vividly. Confident people use the theater of their mind, as Napoleon Hill said in his book, Think and Grow Rich. You practice in your mind over and over and over and over again until it actually is part of you, until when it's time to go, it's automatic, it's in your subconscious mind. What you have to understand is the subconscious mind is no difference between the real and the fake. If you keep repeating something to it, it becomes so real. So confident people visualize their success. They visualize how they're going to conduct themselves. The best example I can give you of this is the movie Fight Club, in which the protagonist created this image, this vision of himself, Tyler Durden. Now, Tyler Durden was everything that the protagonist wanted to be. You have to do the same. Envision what you would do if you were your best self, if you were the most confident version of yourself. How would you conduct your public speeches? How would you conduct your conversations with people? How would you carry yourself? What type of body language will you have? Do this over and over again, and you will become that character. That's what Conor McGregor has done. So visualization is a big key. Just remember that these tips are not limited to Conor McGregor. Anybody can improve their body language by taking up power poses and feeling more at ease in any social interaction. Anybody can learn to speak better, but be more deliberate in their delivery, taking pauses and improving their cadence. And anybody can learn to visualize their success into the real world by practicing with their creative imagination. Your confidence is up to you, so what are you going to do about it?